Korea and France celebrate 130 years of diplomatic ties this year. To mark the occasion, Paris celebrated Korea Year by lighting up the Eiffel Tower in a hue of red and blue symbolizing the Korean flag. Lee Min-young fills us in on how Seoul plans to return to favor when France Year in Korea kicks off this week. Korea and France are en route to celebrate their 130th anniversary of starting diplomatic relations, which falls on June 4th this year. And to commemorate the milestone occasion, the France year in Korea kicked off on Wednesday, which will showcase about 350 events in various fields, including culture, education and economy. The France year in Korea is part of a joint program by the two countries that started last year in September with the Korea year in France event. The programs aim at having citizens of Korea and France to experience and enjoy each other's culture without having to travel. During a press conference on the upcoming events, Henri Lorette, chief of the French side organizing committee, said that he hopes the exchange year would help the two countries reinforce bilateral cooperation in all fields and further develop their relations to create a comprehensive partnership. The commencement of the France year will be highlighted by several eye-catching events taking place in the Korean capital of Seoul, as well as the southern port city of Busan this month. On Thursday at the Gwangwamun Plaza in central Seoul, world-famous French designer Jean-Charles de Castelbejac will showcase an installation art exhibition on the statue of King Sejong. Also, the food festival called So French Delice will take place in the same venue, featuring a variety of French cuisine dishes prepared by some of the best chefs of France. Autophiles in Seoul and Busan will get to witness the performance of the French rock star Matthew Chedid. And for all fashion lovers out there, Dongdaemun Design Plaza, also in Seoul, will host special events such as internationally renowned French fashion designer Jean-Paul Gaultier's Fashion World Exhibition. Lee Min-young, Arirang News.